The next generation of warfare has arrived in China earlier than expected. Late last month, a Chinese naval vessel was spotted at sea armed with what appears to be an electromagnetic railgun. This warship was one of China's Type 0722 vessels, and a Chinese defense blogger took a photo of it off the coast of China, and the image clearly shows a railgun mounted to the ship's bow. If the weapon is confirmed to be operational, this would represent a remarkable advance for the Chinese Navy, because U.S. intelligence had previously estimated that China would not have deployable railguns before 2025. So it looks like China has crossed that major milestone six years early, and it's a milestone that the U.S. is apparently still years from crossing. Military analysts view railguns as game-changing weapons, and that's because instead of using gunpowder to fire projectiles, the way cannons have for some 500 years now, railguns use electromagnetic pulses. This means that besides just being far cheaper to operate, they also are able to launch projectiles at hypersonic speeds of Mach 5 or even higher. This gives them an astounding range that could fundamentally alter the nature of military engagements. Analysts believe that China's railgun technology could significantly help the nation in its drive to assert control over the South China Sea. And that's really where this development begins to take on significance in terms of Bible prophecy. Trumpet editor-in-chief Gerald Flurry has written about China's increasing control over the South China Sea and how it connects to Bible prophecy. In an article in our July 2016 issue of the Philadelphia Trumpet called China is Steering the World Toward War, he wrote, The American military is retreating and other great powers are coming in to fill the vacuum. China is intimidating the nations of Southeast Asia into submission to its will. Everything is headed in the direction of war. Mr. Flurry explained that his understanding of China's rise is based on Bible prophecy. In Deuteronomy 28 verse 52, God says that if the nations of Israel disobey him, he will transfer control of the world's strategic sea gates to their enemies. Mr. Flurry explained that this is a prophecy for the modern-day descendants of Israel, which mainly refers to the people of America and Britain. Today we see China taking control of the South China Sea and many of the sea gates that allow access to it. And this is happening in locations that just a few short years ago were under the control of the U.S. and Britain. So this shows that this prophecy in Deuteronomy is in the process of being fulfilled, and China's early development of railgun technology could speed up the fulfillment of it even more. To better understand this prophecy in Deuteronomy 28, and to see how China's increasing aggression is pushing the world toward major conflict, please read Mr. Fleury's article, China is steering the world toward war.